Hi Cancer, how are you? If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Also remember that the roles can be reversed between you and your person. And of course, these are general, not a personal reading. So of course, outcomes are going to vary for each one of you. And with that said, let's take a quick look at what's going on with you and your soulmate. Of course, if you saw the title, this is going to be your soulmate twin flame connection situation. If you are done with your soulmate, if you feel like you don't want this person back, please keep in mind that this is not your reading. This is for people who are dealing with this situation and wants this person back. Again, general, not personal. Once again, let's take a look at what's going on with your soulmate twin flame situation. So we have the four of cups in reverse. Unsatisfaction. It, there's no fulfillment right here eight of ones so there's some satisfaction here because there's no communication there's no clarity about where to go with this person or where is this person even we got the nine of pentacles in reverse um there is also a third party situation here just so you know cancer your person um right now they have no time for this connection right now because they're being very they're actually trying to be busy with other people as well as work they have like other priorities right now with the 801s and the world right here so right now they feel very very tired Besides the point, right, you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also, I also see Leo, Sagittarius, and I see Taurus and Virgo as well. So going back to this, this person is very tired and exhausted. Uh, I feel like your person, if they were married or they were in a situation or relationship that they had kids with this person, with their past person, it seems to be that they're going back to them because of their kids but pretty much this person does not love that person they don't want to be with that person they're just with them because of the kids this is for some of you of course we got the <laughs> nine of cups in reverse i think it was a funny picture and the tower moment right here in the reverse so scorpio energy this situation in between them and their past partner is going to end because they do not love their partner they do not love them they don't want to be with them so again don't be too stressed about it because this situation with their ex is going to end but right now somehow they're trying to make the past relationship work because they had kids with this person with the fool right here be expecting Aries energy uh, communication with your person this person will come back around whenever they uh, set themselves free from this past connection they're gonna come back around this could be their karma as well you know going through that we got the nine of swords in reverse there is a big intention of taking action, like quick action towards you, but the main action that you expect from this person is going to take a little bit longer than what you would like to wait. Of course, some of you are going to be like, if they don't come right now, I'm leaving. Of course, it's always a choice and an option for you. But again, your person is going through their own stuff. I'm not excusing them, just explaining. So again, they're going to take a little bit longer than what you want to wait or would like to wait. Like I said before, they are just going through something and they're taking their time to figure it out. With the Ten of Pentacles right here, again, they're trying very hard to work the connection with the ex. But that situation is going to end 100%. 100%. What can you give me about this connection here with Cancer and their person? What can you give me with one or three cards about this connection, this situation here? We got heartache, heartache, heartache and lost. Awareness. Material harvest. Sacred chakra. Mental conflict. So your person, like what I'm seeing here at the bottom here, choose wisely. They do not know what to do, okay? They're like against the wall at this point because this heartache and loss because they don't want to be with that partner. They're manifesting you right here. They cannot think, stop thinking about you. And they're also worried and focused in their material needs. 
at the bottom of the deck right here they actually are very very confused about the situation they're actually confused about what is the best choice to take five right here it's the wisdom card and harmony they're trying to look for help okay this person could go through they might be going through um psychologist people therapy thing or they might go might be going to a um couples ther therapy you know to make it work but the connection the person that they want to be with is you the harmony card represents for me the soulmate connection that they have with you they feel unique they feel young they feel special with you which they don't feel that with that person that they're with right now which again they're just doing that because of the kids or the material needs so what um how is this person feeling towards cancer right now what are their per this person's feelings towards cancer please and thank you <clears throat> The Nine of Swords. I'm sorry, the uh, King of Swords. I'm sorry, no, the Nine of Swords. Sorry, I'm sorry. In reverse. We got the Death card in reverse, Scorpio Energy. We got the Eight of Wands right here. Again, Leo Sagittarius Energy. Thank you, Spirit. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Oh my goodness. And we got the. Forgot how to speak. The Wheel of Fortune. I'm so sorry. That's what we got here. So here's telling me that they are trying. They are not making or taking any moves because they are trying to end a cycle, have some sort of closure with that past person, right? But their feelings for you are not over. They're not done with that. They do plan on coming back around, but they want to come back around when they're not linked or when they're clear about how they feel with the past person. The eight of ones, they are not communicating or talking because right now they're dealing with this situation with this ex that it seems to be very, very annoying for them. With the nine of swords, they're trying to pretend everything is fine, but they do want to. They do want to be with you here. They seem to like be waiting on the right time. It could be too late when that happens, of course. But right now, they're just waiting to make them move on the right time because they find you very attractive. They find you very unique, and they love your body. That's another thing. The six of ones right here, Leo Sagittarius energy right here. Again, they're willing to fight for this, but they're taking their sweet time. They're taking their sweet ass time, that's for sure. With the king of cups right here, but slowly but shortly, they're going to come back around and they're going to offer you or actually reach out to you, offering you some sort of like love offer or love proposal, you know? With the Queen of Wands right here, I do see that some of you are going to be done. It could be a little bit too late for others of you when this person comes back around. But just so you know, Cancer, this person hasn't think, stopped thinking about you. Just because they haven't reached out to you has nothing to do with you being on their mind, with you being the person that they want to be with. It's just like they're going, they're going through a lot right now and they don't know what is the best thing to do the ace of ones right here they do want to come back around they have a gigantic intention of reaching out to you and there is a lot of chemistry sexual chemistry here what else can you give me about the situation please and thank you on how they feel look at that the hero fun right here they actually are starting to acknowledge this uh spiritual connection they're coming back around like i said a million times uh with a proposal of higher levels of commitment down the road of course it's not gonna be hey let's get married within two seconds but uh, like down the road that is their intentions we got the eight of pentacles in the reverse they're actually planning on making up the time that they lost with you they're also trying to make up for the times that you gave them chances that didn't take them this seemed like a connection that's been going on for a while you might be knowing this person for 10 20 years of course not for everybody but for some of you 
Then we got the Page of Pentacles, like I said before. And again, this could be a Virgo as well. Uh, coming back around, like I said a million times, <laughs> there's a confirmation with an offer. With a brand new offer here. With a strength card right here, Leo Energy is telling you that this person has overcome a lot. And they're actually throughout this time of silence, they're trying to gain the strength to reach out to you and talk to you. The Emperor Aries energy, Ace of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune right here. So yeah, there's going to be a very, very important decision and action that, again, they have been planning for a long time. With the Emperor right here, they feel ready. They feel secure emotionally and financially, perhaps, to make this move. And when the Wheel of Fortune here opens the door, opens the box of Pandora... <laughs> That's what I heard to say. I had to say because they told me to do it. Uh, of a new beginning and a new possibility. A new possibility with the look at that with the Ace of Pentacles that you thought it was over. I'm sorry, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, but it's not over whatsoever. What are their true intentions? What are their true intentions with cancer? The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Let me see. The Seven of Pentacles. So their true intentions is to have a relationship with you. But with the Ace of Pentacles in that reverse, they're not going to uh, take very um, fast moves meaning that they want to take it slow with the queen of wands right here they want to actually date you for a while or get to know you a little bit better perhaps you have met this person for a while but that is their choice um they want to know if it's really worth or that if to no no they really want to know if you are their person to see if you are really their person because it's been a situation that they know you for so long and that there's always been an attraction and a chemistry between you two and every time you guys try to make it work something got in the way and you guys couldn't do it but right now whenever they because right now the blockages and the problems the they have them okay your person is the one who has them now so when they come once they come over <clears throat> One thing, <laughs> I'm so tired. Once they overcome, there you go, Michelle. Uh, they overcome the challenges. They're coming back around, like I said before, and that's why they don't want to take it super quick. They want to take it slow because they want to get to know you. They want to build something with you before perhaps proposing to you or before starting a real serious relationship with you. With the Empress and Reverse, you could be dealing with a Libra as well. Again, they just want to make sure that you are the right person for them. They don't want to waste more time. They don't want to really make the wrong decision here. The Eight of Pentacles. Like I said before, they want to make up the time lost, but also they want to take it slow. They don't want to feel that this is like a full-time job. They want to also have fun within that you know with you and getting to know you there's definitely a deep connection here with the two of cups it makes no sense with the high priestess in reverse but it'll lead to higher levels of commitment or those are pretty much their intentions even though that their actions and the way that they are going to approach you will make no sense they do want something serious with you but the thing is that they're different than you and they want they to take things slow have like a honeymoon phase you know what is the outcome let me just move this aside it's making a big mess what is the outcome please and thank you spirit in between cancer and this person please and thank you we got the six of wands leo sagittarius energy we got the five of cups right here The seven of pentacles right here so i see that there's gonna be like um potential of a happy ending 
but with the five of cups somebody's gonna be heartbroken and i feel it has nothing to do with you too it has something to do with a third party situation it could be on your side or on their side there is somebody that somebody will have to leave behind or a relation that needs to be behind left behind just to jump in and work on you and your person with the nine of pentacles in reverse it's not gonna it's not gonna be an easy situation because for whoever can relate to this if you were in a relationship and you were with this person for a long time it's gonna be very heartbreaking for both of you because regardless of how you feel towards your actual soulmate you did develop feelings for the other person so going back to this yes it's gonna be a tough situation a tough call for you to make that decision and it's not gonna be as easy to overcome okay A source in the reverse because you cancer you don't want to you don't want to be responsible for somebody else's heartbreak you don't want to be making the hard decisions because it's like you don't want to you feel bad but if you want this connection with your soulmate to work you will have to make that last choice or your person will have to make the last choice but i'm getting that it comes from your energy of course not everybody will relate to this but for whoever can relate to this part yes it comes from your energy the fact that you have to make a risky and a tough call and you don't want to do it you are avoiding it you're not listening to your intuition or your intentions because it is too scary and sad the seven of ones it's not going to be easy because you will have to stand up for yourself and pretty much you both will have to defend this love and connection because a lot of people are going to judge you or talk about it because like i said before if you were in a connection already and now you want something new with this person a lot of people are going to be talking and you are nervous and scared about that anything else but even though that it's going to be scary, we got the Ten of Cups right here. It's going to be worth the sacrifice. It's going to be worth the way because after all the situation that your person and you are going through, you guys are going to be reunited and look at that. Finally, be with Four of Cups with the person that you always wanted to be creating and making a home. The Queen of Swords. And another thing is that you are stronger than you think, Cancer. You, got to start, you need to start to believe in that, okay? But you guys are going to be reunited. It's not giving me a date because your person is going through something right now. So you got to be patient because a lot of people don't understand that patience is a virtue. And I know it's very, very hard. But even if you want it tomorrow, it's going to take the time that it needs to take. Because whatever is happening right now, yes, it's supposed to go like that. Why? Because the universe knows better than all of us. So just go with the flow, respect it, and believe. Because if you don't believe, that's when your outcome will be very very different again look at that the queen of swords you have the call you have the decision and you are more powerful than you believe you have the power to create that ten of cups but whenever the time comes to make that tough call you have to be strong enough to do so otherwise you're gonna be as stuck as you were today lord have mercy oh my goodness oh my god oh my god so right now I got a lot of things, I know. We're going to get this beautiful deck, Enchanted Blossom, and we're going to find some messages for you. I've been having this deck for a while, and I forgot about it because I got so many decks. And I saw it today, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to start this deck thingy. Well, I'm going to use it again with my beautiful cancer. So you guys give me a second or two or five until I get myself together so I can give you a message with this beautiful deck that is like the artwork oh, makes me fall in love so okay I'm ready let's see what is the message for you of course my hands are gigantic nope they're tiny so let's see what is the messages from you what is your guides want you to know about the situation or about anything to be honest so let's see ooh, ooh, ooh. luck bells of Ireland by color something i can't pronounce that word protection hope compassion and beginnings so again 
new beginnings awaits for you, my beautiful Cancer. Look, passion in reverse. That is a gigantic sign of two things. It could be, of course, your love life. Excuse me. Your love life. And also it could be the beginning of a passion for a, for something that you love. But again, this is related to this. Luck and protection. Good luck awaits. You are very, very protected by your angels and ancestors. They are trying to reach out to you and communicate with you a lot. So please listen to them. Hope and compassion. Have hope, but also have compassion over you. Because you overdo it. You care about everybody, but you need to care about yourself. But again, new beginnings. Passion in grace this is something that it was meant to happen this is blessed don't doubt it for a second okay let me just give you because you know that i'm extra and why not i'm going to give you a card one card hopefully <laughs> not many from your angels let's see what they want you to know cancer leadership it is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others again you are more powerful than you believe and before i go i'm gonna give you some initials from your potential person so let's take a look right here again i'm gonna move aside the letters that are repeated so we got y h nothing <laughs> i o u e S R A We got G R again oh we got that already Oh my god K T R So those are the potential initials you know of your potential person um, again, keep in mind their first, last name, and middle name, please, and thank you. And as you guys know, this is the end of your reading. Thank you so much for your time. Please like and subscribe, and I'll be back next week with more readings. Please don't forget that I also will have a different video for career and new love for my singles or whoever wants new love. And also, I will upload a video for your soul search purpose. So again, thank you so very much. You have a blessed day.